Torco sulfuring modified bitumen underlayment provides a safe, cost-effective alternative to conventional roofing membranes. It is important to note that application is similar for PS200HT and PS200MU. There are various steps that need to be followed to ensure proper application of sulfuring roofing underlayments. And for more on that, let's go to Ray Lopez. The applicator must first verify that the substrate used at the project is approved by Targo for adhesion of its self-adhering underlayment. Ensure the material as well as material interface temperatures are a minimum of 40 degrees Fahrenheit and rising. All materials and material interface must be clean, dry, and free of irregularities. Ensure all protruding nails are driven flush with the substrate prior to application of the self-adhered underlayment. Self-adhering membrane may be applied to an acceptable mechanically attached base sheet, such as a Tarco Easy Lay base sheet or any of the acceptable substrates. In direct-to-deck re-roof applications of self-adhering underlayment, one may apply an ASTM D41 asphalt primer, a water-based acrylic primer, or a water-based polymer modified primer to the roof deck to enhance adhesion. It is very important to wait until the primer dries before installing the underlayment. Cut 6 inch wide strips of PS200 HT or PS200 MU underlayment and apply the strip to the substrate prior to installing drip edges and L metal counter flashings. This step will ensure that all metal flashings are sandwiched and provide an effective seal. It is necessary to prime all of the metal flashings with the recommended primers. It is preferable to cut the underlayment to manageable lengths of 12 to 15 feet. After the roll is cut to the desired lengths, take the first piece of underlayment and position it at the lowest point of the roof. Fold the underlayment over, remove one half of the split release film and gently apply onto the substrate. The other half of the underlayment shall be installed in like manner. End laps shall be staggered a minimum of 36 inches on slopes less than or equal to 2 and 12 and 18 inches on slopes greater than 2 and 12. It is important to ensure that the roof deck allows for positive water flow. All headlaps must be a minimum of three inches. Once the material is set in place, the applicator must back nail the sheet using a minimum one inch disc applied at a rate of minimum nine inches on center along the headlap. After installation, the entire membrane surface shall be rolled with a minimum of a 70 pound weighted roller on slopes less than or equal to two and 12 and a minimum of a 28 pound weighted roller on slopes greater than 2 and 12. On steeper slopes, a soft bristled push broom may be used to apply pressure to the membrane surface. When using a broom to apply pressure, begin at the ridge area and work down towards the low point or the eave of the roof. When installing PS200 HT, apply a 1 8 inch thick uniform layer of SPS, trial grade modified flashing cement or adhesive throughout the contact area of the six inch fabric over fabric end lap. Hand roll the surface to ensure 100% contact. The unique top surface of the PS200MU will allow the material to adhere to itself without the need for an adhesive. Flash all penetrations with a target patch of like membrane, which must extend a minimum of four inches from the edge of the penetration base flash. Only the PS200HT must be set in one eighth inch thick uniform layer of SPS trial grade modified bitumen flashing cement adhesive throughout the contact area. The target patch membrane must then be hand rolled in place to ensure 100% contact. Ensure a minimum of a 1 8 inch thick layer of flashing cement or adhesive bleed out at the designated area for PS200 HD. After the underlayment is installed, roof tiles can be loaded on the surface of the PS200 HD and PS200 MU underlayment. Likewise, metal panels can be applied over the surface of the PS200 HD and the PS200 MU. Please refer to the TARCO relevant technical bulletin on roof loading of tiles on PS200 HD. Once the tiles are staged, they can be installed via mechanical attachment or set in foam adhesive.
This concludes the application procedure of the Tarco PS200HT and PS200MU self-adhering underlayments. It is important that applicators refer to the local authority having jurisdiction prior to the installation of any roofing membrane to ensure application of such membranes are in compliance with the local building code. It is also important that applicators follow recommended roofing practices and guidelines as outlined by the National Roofing Contractors Association. During installation, it is highly recommended that the applicator use common sense measures and take adequate safety precautions and comply with occupational safety and health administration safety standards. Please visit www.tarcoroofing.com for product data sheets, material safety data sheets, code body approvals, warranties, and technical bulletins for the entire line of Tarco roofing membranes.